developing a professional ear, what it is, and how to develop it. So the professional ear is an ear that can hear music, that can hear when music is good, when music is bad, when it has potential, when everything is happening together, when, when things are falling apart. It's an ear that hears mistakes. It can hear when an accomplished player misses a note. It can hear when everything is right. It can hear when, when there are mistakes in, in the chord progression and, and such. It can hear pitch. Here's when a, a note is flat, when a note is sharp, when somebody needs to tune their instrument a little bit. It can also hear when things are spot on and don't need to be fixed. And the professional ear can also hear when the pitch is off just a little bit, but for musicality and for human quality sake, it shouldn't be fixed. It can hear sound. It can hear when there's a good sound coming out of an, an instrument or there's a bad sound. And it can hear when maybe drum heads need to be replaced or when guitar strings are old and need to be replaced. It can hear quality. It can hear when there's a quality sound coming, coming out of a speaker, when there's a quality sound being produced, when the sound is not quite up to quality and maybe there's a couple things that need to be done to, to get it there. The professional ear can hear detail can hear a cough in the back of an auditorium during a, a live performance. It can hear when a string is grazed by the fingernail of a guitar player and needs to be redone so that that sound will not come out later on in the mix. And finally, the professional ear can hear professionalism. It can hear when something was mixed well and produced well. and it can hear when, when something wasn't mixed or produced well. And it can also tell what things need to be done to make sure that that happens. So the big question is, is how do you develop it? Is there somebody you can pay to give you a professional ear? No, there isn't. The, the biggest thing you can do to start developing a, a professional ear is to listen to music. So by listening to music, you can start to hear what the professionals are doing and you're kind of setting the standard of what you want to do. So the ear is another muscle in your body that just has to be kind of tuned and and worked out. And one of the best ways to do that is when you're listening to music, not just listening and not thinking about it. You're actually focusing on things that are happening. So what you can do is find a song that you like, and it better be something that you like because you're going to hear it a lot of times. But focus on one of the instruments. And don't focus on the lead vocal because that one's too easy but pick something in there that's not as important but but happens throughout the song and hopefully the whole entire length of the piece if not one of the things you need to focus on is when that instrument comes in and comes out but listen to the song and focus on that instrument the entire stretch of the song and then go back and, and focus on another one now this is going to help you to train your ear to listen to a specific part of the mix but it will also help you in in listening to what players are doing during the different parts of the mix and and help you with producing as well as mixing okay now when you're doing this you really need to be listening on good speakers or headphones if you try to do all your ear training on poor speakers that are in a poor acoustic room or or bad headphones or earbuds or something like that you're really not doing yourself any good because you're not really hearing what's happening so you do need to do your best to, to listen on good speakers and good headphones. Another good thing to do is to talk to professionals about music. Now, I know it's kind of tough to just go find a professional and say, I'm learning how to do this and I want to talk to you. But there's lots of things you can do. Is You can go to forums and, and see what the communication is like, see how people are talking on YouTube, because there's a whole vernacular that these professionals are using there's different ways that they, different words that they use to describe when a mix has a lot of high end, it's bright. When it has issues in the low mids, it is muddy. There's lots of terminology that they use that if you learn it, not only are you going to make yourself sound more knowledgeable, but in the process you will become more knowledgeable and it will help you to explain what you're hearing, explain what you're trying to hear, 
and, and in the end, develop your professional ear. Okay, another good thing is to study sound and music. There's lots of great college programs, high school programs, tech programs, and any studying of music and sound, audio recording, music production is going to help you in developing your ear because all of these programs, one of the real benefits of these things is that you're going to receive access to studios. So they're going to be paying for those nice speakers, those nice headphones. And so then you can utilize those to help develop your professional ear. And then finally, practice, practice, practice. Now, you know, once you've gotten good speakers or good headphones to listen on, you've got music to listen to, you can just keep working at it and keep talking to professionals. Read those forums, watch those videos, buy these tutorials just like this, and keep working on it and developing that professional ear. If you set your sights for that professional standard, then you can reach it. And that is developing a professional ear.